Good morning, guys. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. We are continuing to hop around the great state of New Mexico, showing you wonderful little places and hidden gems that you might want to visit someday. And today, we have ventured to the Gila Cliff Dwellings National Monument. We are Crystal and Terry, and we've always loved to travel. However, the high demands of our full-time jobs make it increasingly difficult to take any time off. So, we're giving it all up. For the next year of our life, we'll be dedicating ourselves to full-time travel. We're so excited about this next chapter, and we really hope you'll join us in this amazing adventure as we leave the life we've always known to live the life of our dreams. So what I can tell you from a historical perspective is a good old President Teddy Roosevelt made this place a national monument back in the early 1900s. The dwellings were, well, they weren't discovered by the Europeans until the late 1800s. And they're still not sure why these places were abandoned. But they've been able to test and date back and estimate that they were occupied by the native peoples in the late 1200s to early 1300s. Now getting here is a bit of a trick only because there are some very, very curvy, windy roads. But then when you get here, it's actually a beautiful place. This hike is uh, filled with little twists and turns and bridges. And uh, I'm actually excited to see what I think is gonna be quite impressive construction for what would have been done completely by hand with handmade tools. Let's go check it out. So there you have it. I let the historian take over for that one. He's the one who read all the history about it. I just like to come look at it because I think it's really cool. So there you go. Let's go. <laughs> hear voices from down here and looked up and saw that the cliff dwelling is just above us and FYI up there is 616 steps to the top let's see if we can do it Further, 
guys, we're about to go inside. We're about to step into true live history preserved since probably the 1200s. So let's be careful. Watch where you step. Let's go. the cave now and it is so cool the cavern I don't know is a hundred feet tall maybe and the ceilings are black from the soot of the fires where people used to obviously make fires in here for warmth and for cooking and it's much cooler in here than it is out on the trail so that's kind of nice it, it keeps like an e even temperature in here so they were very very well protected in this cave walk through the ruins you have to be super careful because a lot of these trails there's no railing so you could easily just plunge right off especially when you're walking and holding a camera <laughs> the trails have no rails cliff dwellings and it is so neat I mean just thinking that people actually lived their lives here every day and that they had to go all the way down this canyon to get water or to go hunting or things like that and then bring it all the way back up here and they lived in these little caves and it's just so interesting how, what did you think I, I was really amazed I can't even believe the amount of work or how long it took to haul these rocks up here to you know, scale them to the level that they needed and dividing all the structures, building into the rock, living here, going back down to get their game, their water, which is in the river below, that 600 steps. And they didn't have the pre-made steps that even we had <laughs> right. now I'm today. Right, I'm sure they had whatever trails. So uh, it's really impressive. And it's just yeah. out here in the middle of nowhere, but it's a beautiful area, gorgeous. And it, it is still native land. So the, the guide did tell us that it's still, it's part of the Chiricahua, Mogollon Apache native land. Anyway, this is a really, really neat place and you can take it at your own pace. The loop is only one mile. So even though you do climb a lot of stairs, you can take your time and still do it pretty easily, I think. And it's free. Oh yeah, no totally charge. free. <laughs> Best part. All right guys, well, I hope you enjoyed that and we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>